Hello there guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. It was Christmas Day just under a week ago and I hope you did have a great time and I hope you have a very happy new year in a couple of days time. Behind me here I have a ton of Star Wars things that I got for Christmas so I thought it'd be a, a really fun idea to have like a Star Wars Christmas haul. Show you guys what I got with regards to Star Wars. You see a Boba Fett helmet there so I'll show you guys that in a second. But start off with I got a new baby over top so... Basically, a, a, you know, a Christmas themed at the child top, which is pretty cool. Um, wore that on Christmas Day. And I mean, this is Boxing Day I'm recording this, so just the day after. But yeah, really cool top for that. Um, then I have a, a pair of, you know, cozy Stormtrooper socks as well, which is very cool. Um, I'll get to those at some point. But yeah, no, keep, me, keep me warm. Got some Star Wars trivia as well. So I'm just going to ask a question out of this, and I want you guys to... Give me the answer in the comments because I think that'll be a bit of fun to do. But I'm going to pick a random one out. Okay, so the question is, which character is discovered by Han Solo to be working for Dryden Voss years after being separated on Corellia? Is it A, Tobias Beckett, B, Lando Carrigian, C, Kira, or D, Jabarka? That is the question. Answer in the comments. It's not a very difficult one. But I just thought it'd be fun to do something like that. But yeah, that's a Star Wars trivia thing. I think there's like 140 questions. Some are pretty easy. Some are quite difficult as well. But yeah, that's pretty fun. So that's awesome. And then it's also got some questions from The Mandalorian as well, which is very nice. Speaking of The Mandalorian, I also got The Mandalorian shaped mug, which is very, very cool. I'm not much of a of coffee or tea drinker, but I'll definitely be having plenty of hot chocolates in this bad boy, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, also, with Mando, I got the Mandalorian wallet as well, which is very cool. Won't open it up because it's you know got stuff in there, but that's awesome. Got some Star Wars Stormtrooper socks as well, which is nice. Also wore these yesterday on Christmas Day. Very good. I think this is the final pair of socks I got as well, but even more Stormtrooper Christmas socks because you can't have too many of those. And when I say a ton, I mean I got a ton of Mandalorian magnets from Season 1. So we've got Speeder Bike here. Got a really cool almost poster of Mando here. You can see that there. Mando's helmet, IG-11. And like genuinely, there's, there's loads, loads in here. So... Yeah, they're really cool, you know, a bunch of fridge magnets, so very cool, very cool. Speaking of magnets as well, I got the uh, little Stormtrooper magnet bookmark as well, which is very handy, because I also got some Star Wars books as well. I've got plenty of Star Wars books to go through now, so I'll go and show you those. Starting off with this is the official Galaxy's Edge Star Wars cookbook. Now... Whilst I'm a fairly fussy eater, I'm really excited to just try all these things. I and mean, you can see a bunch of stuff on the back as well. Um, but also, not just from the food perspective, like I love food, but also just from a lore perspective as well. Like I'm really excited to take a proper read into this and, you know, have a look at what, um, you know, people in Star Wars ate, really. Because that's, you know, that's a big thing. It's like, I mean, here we've got like best pin cloud drops, you know, which you can see see there you know which are really cool you know i think they're basically like um meringues or something it, they, it looks like meringues which are just really cool and then like a kashikian cake as well like a log cake which is really really cool um so yeah i mean just from a law perspective you know it's really it's going to be really cool to just have a dive into all of the different foods and also obviously just to try it all as well because you know I mean, you, you, you kind of have to, right? And it's, it's, it's got pretty much everything that you could think of with food as well. So yeah, it's got Black Spire cuisine, condiments, sauces and garnishes, sides, starters and snacks, soups and stews, breads, main courses, desserts and drinks as well. So pretty much absolutely anything within this book. So if you want it, like if you're a massive lore junkie, then I mean, I'd recommend it for that anyway. But also if you love your food, then this would be something really cool to try out. So I got this from my girlfriend and then she also got me my very own, you know, OG split screen logo sticker and the, the Thai Pilot sticker as well that I did for a limited time. I'm tempted to bring this back as well as like a just a normal merch design properly because it was limited time before. But I did say if Squadrons got more content, then I'd release it. But 
I haven't yet, so I'll probably do that at some point, but yeah, two stickers that you can get for yourself as well. Links to all the merch are in every description, basically. Um, you can get stickers, mugs, t-shirts, stuff like that, which is really cool, but yeah, that's those two. Another book is The Art of the Mandalorian Season 1 here, which is very good. This only recently came out within the last few months, but yeah, I mean, it's like The Art of the Jedi Fallen Order book in a way. Yeah, I mean, it shows a bunch of concept art from all the episodes, all like the characters and and everything like that so if you're really into you know the the making of a certain thing then i'd really recommend this and a lot of things that come into star wars nowadays actually were concept art for original films and shows things like in the high republic there's a new ship coming for which i think is called the jedi vector and that was actually a piece of concept art for the arc 170 back with the revenge of the sith so you know, concept art in here could eventually be canon in something else. So it's really interesting to have that side of things. And yeah, that's a chunky monkey. Another big one, if you're interested in a lot of the lore and in-depth detail with the Star Wars universe, is the complete vehicles cross-section as well. This is the... So I got one, I think, earlier this year or late last year. But this is the updated 2021. So you've got the orange one. It's got a resistance Y-wing on the front here, which is really cool. Um, yeah, and here's an Upsilon shuttle there. So very cool. It shows re it shows all the details, and it, yeah, so it'll it'll point out things like the starboard docking ring, the hydraulic systems reservoir, and all that stuff. So yeah, it really goes into detail about all the ships within Star Wars, pretty much. So and vehicles as well. So I'd really recommend that if you're into those things. In terms of other kind of more facts and lore stuff, I got the lightsaber collection. Um, here which is cool it's pretty it pretty much has everyone's lightsaber in here i mean it's got you know it's got cows from fallen order taron malakos is from fallen order as well stellan gios from the high republic which is just about to start um and it even has like darth atreus who i didn't even know was a thing but i think he was a jet uh, sith in the old republic era and he's got two lightsaber hilts which are really cool shows darth maul here with his lightsaber you can sometimes fold it open again double blade so yeah that's something really cool if you're interested in lightsabers then yeah there's that as well which is really cool so i've also got four new novels and two new comics which i'll get as well so the comic i got for my brother was jedi fallen order dark temple so essentially a prequel to fallen order in a way there's eno cordova my friend and then seer as well as a jedi so that's pretty awesome that's what i got for my brother and then my brother got for me galaxy's edge as well so that's really cool as well just a bit more of an induct introduction to back spy outpost and then yeah i mean you can see on the back you know there's there's docs raffer there as well so yeah really cool um comics there speaking of galaxy's edge as well we got black spy outpost which is really cool that's what my brother got from my dad and stepmom and then he also got I mean, my brother's a big Thrawn fan as well, so he got Thrawn Ascendancy, Chaos Rising, which is really sick. That's the start of the brand new trilogy from Timothy's arm. And it's even got blue on the side of that as well. And then I got Resistance Reborn, so that's Road to the Rise of Skywalker, which is really cool. And then also got Poe Dameron Freefall as well, which is when Poe Dameron is in the Spice Runners. So... A, you know a backstory for poe as well basically which is really cool so they're all of the new books now so a bunch of facts and lore stuff here and then also new novels and comics as well so to continue with the theme of mandalorian stuff i also got this kind of velcro patch thing which is really cool there's a mythosaur there on red yeah really cool logo patch there which is awesome i also got two sets of pajamas so there's you know kind of cartoon grogu there which is cool with some you know, trousers, as you do. Got some other pajamas as well, which I haven't opened just yet, but you know, more, more Mando, the child. And then I got a top as well. For the child, when you're cute, and you know it. <laughs> just great, you looking all innocent there at the start. I know you probably keep looking over there, but I will get to that. There's something else which is hidden away, which is awesome. So I'll get to that in just a minute. I've got three things before I go to the helmet and then the other thing. So there's this Stormtrooper, Hear No Evil. So there's also uh, there's also See No Evil and Speak No Evil as well, but that's really cool. Um, 
eventually when I have my own room or my own like big proper desk I'll definitely have that set up somewhere as a nice desk ornament but yeah that's really cool and then it wouldn't really be Christmas or a time to get presents without Funkos so I got this guy from the sequel trilogy you can see him a lot in Force Awakens really and then I also got Dryden Gangster as well which is very cool so I've got I think now between me and my girlfriend now we both we have like a lot of solo stuff so yeah we're almost done there which is really cool but um yeah that's pretty much everything there's two more things to go over now which is the boba helmet and that other thing so so this is the the boba helmet it's actually huge I mean there's my head that's my head with the boba helmet next to it so this is the the black series boba fett helmet um for the 40th anniversary of the empire strikes back so this came out um this year and then there's also they literally just announced as well the the clean version of boba fett's helmet as well from mandalorian season two as black series but this is the 40th anniversary one um so so yeah this is pretty cool i I'm not sure how easy you can hear me. Probably is all right, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then if you just press this button here, rain kind of comes down. This can illuminate, but I need to put a battery in. I need to take this off, but I'm struggling at the moment. So yeah, that's really cool. Black series Boba Fett helmet. So yeah, that's that. Oh, actually as well, um, I just forgot about this. I also got a new key ring as well. This is the way, which is very cool, which I'll definitely put on my keys or something, but yeah very cool so now we finally move on to the last thing which is pretty insane i think you guys will like it but yeah so this is the official force fx darth vader lightsaber which is absolutely insane you need three batteries to operate it with the lights and all that stuff and the sounds um yeah it's awesome so with force effects you can't battle with them they they do make sounds though when you move it around and hit stuff but you don't want to hit it things too hard because the leds are actually in the blade so yeah you do have to be careful with it but yeah it is it's very cool so so yeah that is everything so that is everything star wars that i got for christmas i'm pretty sure that's absolutely everything there's quite a lot of stuff there to go through um but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys got for christmas that was star wars or anything else that was just big that you're really happy with that is it from me though thank you all very much for watching guys and may the force be with you always